Happy New Year, everyone. I'm a little late on this video, I'm fully aware. I've been reading a book called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. It's changed how I'm going to view my everyday lifestyle in a very significant way, and I think everything that I've learned from that book is worth sharing, so I'm going to make a video on that because I think a lot of you would benefit from it. But as for Christmas, this is so requested. Classic disclaimer, I'm totally bragging for everything that I say. I just wanted to let you know, like, I got this and you didn't. Let's get started. As of right now, my favorite items have been a tie between this Tiffany simple ball ring that I've been wearing pretty much every day with the combination of these two other rings since Christmas, and I love it. Don't mind the nail malfunction, I'm getting these fixed today. I've always thought that I liked gold more until I moved in with Claudia and she's like, oh, I love silver and she's really made me appreciate silver, so thanks, Claudia. And the item that this ring is in tie with are these Bose wireless headphones. It is 2016. I don't know why we even still have cords. I'm not typically the type of person you would see with large headphones like this on. I'm much more of an earbud person. On the right side, you can flip a switch to connect it to your phone or your laptop or any sort of mobile device and you can change the volume and stop the music all within the sides of your headphones. Any sort of experience become a little dance party and also if I'm just walking around my daily life it feels like I'm in a musical because there's just songs playing and it's so cool. <laughs> Every single year my parents will get me pajama pants and this year I got a gray pair. I always get them from Airy because Airy makes longs and I have super long legs. So this is a gray pair with white snowflakes on them. And then the second pair it's more like a tribal print and it has a stretchy waistband and they're a bit more boho than the other ones that are traditional kind of wintry pajama pants. As for books, I think books are fantastic gifts to give and receive. The first one, I'm sure everyone and their mother got this year. An adult coloring book. This one's called The Secret Garden, an inky treasure hunt and coloring book. Oh yeah, because there's a few puzzles in it. More or less, it's just a bunch of pages of intricate floral and garden-like designs. Some study came out this year saying that this is supposed to be relaxing and it's a good way to calm yourself down, so everyone hopped on the trend and now we all have these. The second book I got is a non-fiction book and this is The Story of Tea, A Cultural History and Drinking Guide. I'm really happy he got this. My Uncle Don is so into botany. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I hope to one day have my own line of tea. I wanted to kind of collaborate with a, an already existing brand earlier this year, but I decided that if I was going to do it, I wanted to learn how to grow the tea and brew the tea myself. So this is just a way for us to, you know, talk about it. My Uncle Don, like I said, into botany, so he's going to help me figure out how to grow it and hopefully that will be something that occurs in my lifetime and I'm excited about that. I'm going to sidetrack from the books real quick and show you the other thing that Uncle Don got me. Every single year, for as long as I can remember, Uncle Don will send me a bag of tangerine jelly bellies and the thing is, neither one of us even remember the inside joke that made us think that this was so funny and now every single year for probably 10 or 11 years, I get these. Back to the books. One of my favorite books in the entire world is Tuesdays with Maury. It like really affected me. I read it when I was a freshman or a sophomore, I can't remember. And it was the first book I ever read with a pen and I couldn't put the pen down. I just had to circle the different things that were standing out to me. And my parents, I guess, I didn't even know that they knew that that book was one of my favorites, but the same author also wrote a book called The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto. My parents were telling me that Mitch went around to a bunch of different really renowned musicians like Led Zeppelin and asked them, what is so special about music to you? Like, what is it about music that sparks that passion or like that light in your eyes? And put all of their stories together and created this book. And the final book I got is just the little book of mindfulness and I, I'm so interested in living a life of mindfulness and not living in a world of constant distraction. I haven't actually read through this book that often. I like the idea of it, but sometimes you do have to be careful with what kind of things like this that you're buying because a lot of it is just, it's, it's a trend, it's a fad going on right now, like being mindful, good vibes, and regardless of what this book actually has inside of it, I'm really glad that my mom thought of me when she saw this book because it's something that is important to me. My mom also gave Finley and I gifts together, and I had no idea this technology even existed, but she said she got a really good deal at a kiosk in the mall on these 3D pens, and the gold one's Finley's and the black one's mine. Essentially, it's like a glorified hot glue gun, but you just place this plastic colored ink inside, 
and you press a button and you can just start doodling in the air and it will freeze like a 3D figure. So it's kind of like a 3D printer meets a pen. So you get to doodle in the air rather than on paper and I think that's cool. I've already made little figures like, actually my friend Ryan made this one. My friend Helen Ann I think made this person and I made this little squid, sort of like the emoji, you know the one I'm talking about? My friends and I have made plenty more doodles than that, however it's not as easy as it looks. She also got heaps of ink. I'm 19 years old but I haven't grown out of toys yet. Card games, strategy games, mind games, board games, and I was lucky enough to get my very own cribbage board for Christmas this year. Realistically you don't actually need the board to play cribbage, you just use this thing to mark your points. However, it's nice to have my very own. And in addition to that, my mom got me a 7-in-1 combination game set, which is super badass. It's nice to have games all in one place, and this comes with checkers, cribbage, poker dice, chess, playing cards, dominoes, and backgammon. This is fun. Every time I say mom, I do mean mom and dad. I'm sorry dad for leaving you out on these. I also got a very thoughtful, cool game from Finley. However, I filmed us exchanging gifts, and I think I'm gonna upload that on my vlog channel. Every single year, I get DKNY Be Delicious perfume. I'm totally open to finding a new perfume scent, but anytime I try wearing a different perfume, no one says anything about it, but every time I put this on, someone compliments me. So I'm like, I guess this is my scent, and I've been wearing it since seventh grade, so what is that, like eight years? That's crazy. Then this is also on my Christmas list. It's a $50 candle. <laughs> I wanted this. This is one of those things that like, you have that list in your head, you're like, wow, I'd really enjoy to have this thing, but I would never actually buy it for myself. That's what this was for me, and this is one of the NARS candles. They have three of them, a white, a black, and a red, and this is the white one. It just says NARS in shiny letters, and it smells really light and clean and airy. Going along with scents, Finley's mother was really, really sweet. He got me some rose water, and I'm so I'm so excited to have this. You just spray it on your sheets or your pillow or on your tablecloth or your linens, things like that, or even your body. But I sprayed it on the tablecloth at Finley's house yesterday and it was so feminine and girly and I just wanted to take a bubble bath and like candles and I felt like such a woman and I can't wait to have this back in LA and just have my room smell so girly. I had no idea that I was receiving this. This is probably my biggest gift. Like, I thought the headphones were gonna be my biggest gift, but no, I got the camera body for the Canon 70D. This is like a high def camera. I was already thinking that I had a fancy camera using the Canon Rebel. This is a step up above that. I haven't gotten a chance to play around with it yet, which is why at the beginning I didn't say it was like one of my most used or favorite gifts yet, because I haven't actually gotten to play around with it. However, I'm super stoked. Really excited about this. Fantastic surprise. Thank you, mom and dad. The final gift, I wish my mom was with me right now to be able to show it to you guys, but she made me a memory box and she took newspapers from the day I was born and paper shaded it around this box and she started off by putting in my three Gloria dolls. I used to have like nine of these and they have horrible names. I should talk about my mementos one in a video. Just for an example, this one's name is Boy. We're gonna move on. She also put my little doctor's book that has stickers on it and this is the book that you would take to the doctor with you and they would record how much you weigh and how tall you were. Sort of like a note that says what was going on in the world the day I was born and it has my baby book in here as well and then recently I was cleaning out some things from the book, like I said, it really affected me and I put in my Chesterbrook Academy t-shirt from back when I was in private school. So that's that. I thought that was a good item to end on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any interest in finding me on other social medias, I'm super into those as well. So Snapchat is Lexi.Lombard. Twitter I've been all about recently too. Probably, honestly all of them. I don't have a single one to promote. Instagram's Lexi. Twitter's Lexi. Snapchat's Lexi.Lombard. And make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.